Rupa Goswami, he lived sometime in Sevakunj, Vrindavan, and sometimes in Terakadamba, Nandagaon. But when he writes, when he gives Shiksha, Upadesh, when he gives Shiksha and Upadesh for the Bhakta Log, he doesn't say live in Sevakunj, you should live in Sevakunj. He doesn't say live in Terakadamba. He says you should live in Radhakund, Upadesh Amrita. And many other places, he says, at the highest place. And Das Goswami, when Das Goswami came to Vrindavan to commit suicide, then Rupa and Sanatan said, no, you you're, you're have to teach Mandri Bhav. You were 16 years with Sarup Damodar Goswami and 16 years with uh, Shaitanya Mahaprabhu in Puri and his Gambira Leela, his deepest, most confidential Madhurya Leela. So you have to go and teach the world how to practice this Mandri Bhav Upasana. Mandri Bhav Upasana. So he said, where should I go? I said, we'll give you the best, we'll give you the best place. Rupa Goswami and Sanatana Goswami, they didn't take him to Sevakunj and say, do bhajan here. They didn't take him to Terakadamba. Everybody goes to Terakadamba and say, oh, this is Rupa Goswami's place. <coughs> well, so is Radhakund. So he took Das Goswami here, and Das Goswami stayed here for 65 years. Haribo, writing about Mandri Baba Upasana, Upasana, how to worship in the Baba of a Mandri, become Radharani's eternal maidservant, which is the teachings of Lord Chaitanya. Gopi Bhavi, Gopi Bhav Angikara. And Chaitanya Charitamrita says, Gopi Bhav Angikara. Angikara means you must accept. It says, Raghunuga Bhakti Prachar. This is Bengali Shloka. Raghunuga Bhakti Prachar. Mahaprabhu has come to teach Raghunuga Bhakti.